Hey everybody, welcome to Season 1, Episode 3 of Wingman. I'm here with my wingman, Matt. And I'm here with my wingman, Ford. And this is a show where we eat wings, talk about wings, and sometimes the topics of the day. Sometimes. Sometimes. And today on this episode, we have our special guest, Laura Wilcox. Hi. Laura, thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited. And you're the, the first wing woman on the show, mm -hmm. so yeah. we're happy to have you. I speak for all women in America when I say thank you. Everyone ready to take a first bite? Yeah, I'm let's hungry. do it. Yeah. It smells like um, fettuccine alfredo. That's yeah. what they smell like. You feel Italian influenced. Oh yeah. Before we get to the main topic of discussion, I would like to make a wing apology. Yeah. In episode two, season one of Wing Men, I mistakenly corrected one of our guests, Michael Antonucci. Yeah. He held up a wing, mm -hmm. and he just called it a wing, and I corrected him, and I said. Oh, you mean the drumstick. Talk about the drumstick. She possesses biological and chemical weapons. Now, as many commenters pointed out, this is not a drumstick. Right. It's a drumette. That's right. the correct terminology. And I didn't know that. No. Now, we've never claimed to be wing experts. We're just wing fans. Just wing fans. But we do want to get the terms right when people correct us. Yeah. And I'd just like to apologize, number one, to any of our fans that were angry or upset. I'm sorry. I also like to apologize to Michael Antonucci for incorrectly correcting him. Yeah, you attacked, have done that. You attacked yeah. him. I went over the line. Yeah. It takes a big wing man to admit when he's wrong. Yeah, and then Matt up. There's a lot of um, non drumettes in this pile. That can launch us into our main topic of the day. Do you prefer the drum at or the wing at? So this is the wing at? That's the wing at. I like the wing at. You like the wing at better. Yeah, Why? I like it because I feel like there's more meat and mm -hmm. there's less possibility you're going to bite into something surprising mm -hmm. and weird, like in a drum like a tendon or like, oh, yeah. like some magical mystery oh, to our yeah, wings. Like, look at all this. What yeah. is all of that? No one's ever pulled something out of the bone bucket before. Yeah, that's a wingman first. Yep. I'm all about breaking glass ceilings. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. I understand that. I'd, I like a clean eating experience. Yeah. But I think the meat is better on the wing end. Yeah. I think it's f more flavorful. It's juicier. Mm -hmm. I think you're just getting a better bite of wing. And for me, that's what it's all about. So I have a question. When you go out and you get, and you get a plate of wings, uh -huh. do you expect there to be an equal number of drumettes and wingettes? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they usually are. Yeah. yeah. But what if we demanded more wingettes? If we were like, hey, this group of people here, we're wing mm -hmm. at crazy. Yeah. But then what happens to all the drumettes? I guess they go the same way that the tips. Yeah, but some idiot sitting next to us. Yeah. Well, I don't mean to say that. I'm sorry. There are no. plenty of wing fans that people have to out there. Some f***ing idiot who prefers no. the, the drumettes Laura, are going to eat the whole plate. Like I think a, it's fine. Like a goddamn idiot. But we need those idiots so that yeah. the smart people like us can get our wingettes. A lot of people in the wing circles are saying wingettes are worse because they have double the bone. Mm. So is that a burden or is that a bonanza? Well, I don't know if it's a bonanza because more bones are not a good thing for anyone unless you're like. I would say that more bones equals more flavor. So double the bones is double the flavor. That's a good point. Yeah. It's also fun to throw the bones in the bucket. See, do you always break them apart like that? I like to, yeah. Why? Oh, so you can nibble. Mm -hmm. oh, you I get, do not. You can, get, you can get a little bit closer to the bone. I don't use that. I, wow. don't, I don't do that. I've never done that before. Yeah. I use my little teeth to pull out the Yeah, meat. I just use my little tiny teeth. Like a bird's beak. Yeah. So for our next segment, we're going to look at some of the comments that people left on episodes one and two of Wingmen season one. And we're calling this segment, Wing Comments. <laughs> I get it. First one, not sure if it was intentional or not, but of the three videos I've watched on YouTube today, this was probably the least sexy. Now, what's so interesting about that is mm -hmm. the use of intentional. Or actually, he's questioning. Your show was unsexy, is what he's saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was that your intention? Yeah. I don't know if we were like, can we make a not sexy show? But I wasn't like, I want to rile people up. Right. Yeah, I didn't he say. Answers his question, I think. Yeah. Can we make this show hotter? I've never said that, unless we're talking about sauces. Uh, 
I didn't think a conversation of wings could suck this bad. Good job, guys. So this guy did this guy knew that conversations about wings could suck. Yeah. But he didn't know they could suck this bad. Yeah. Right. But then I think he must think that our goal was to suck as bad as we could, because then he says, Good job, guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was all positive in the end. Yeah. Right. That's fine. I bet this guy has his own wing show and it's like very fun and not boring and yeah. so you know maybe we can learn from him. So thanks for that comment. Thank yeah. you so much. Uh, so this next comment says, wasn't as good as the first one. So that must have been on, co- on episode two. It was on episode two, yeah. yeah. It'd be weird if that was on episode one. <laughs> yeah. Who was the guest in episode one? Uh, Nathan Min. Who was the guest in episode two? Michael, Michael Antonucci. Well, I guess we know who to blame. Yeah, it's an insult to Mike. Yeah. Uh, and again, I, I already feel bad, Mike. Uh, I corrected you, yeah. and it was an incorrect correction. So I think I should take the blame and not Mike. Yeah. That's, that's big of Yeah. You f***ed up. Here's the next comment. Boneless chicken wings are still wings, just more progressed and advanced than the old stupid bone and chicken wing. I mean, what the f***ing f- man? Are lead pencils still pencils? Say no, mother f***er, I will fight you. Just because you make something better doesn't mean it isn't still the origa. Is frap coffee? Does adding cream and sugar to coffee render it something else and not coffee? You know what? F*** it. Name boneless chicken stumps something else. The name wings is too pleasant for something as glorious as boneless chicken pieces. So there was a lot there. There was a lot there. Uh, the first thing was, uh, he said, are lead pencils still pencils? No, they're mechanical pencils. Well, what he, I think that's what he meant, but he said, are lead pencils still pencils? Uh, are pencils still pencils? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, lead pencil is all pencils. Yeah. Are regular chicken wings still chicken wings? <laughs> well, it's not, though, because they're not wings. It's breast. Well, they right. should be called little chicken breast balls. I imagine him typing on his keyboard so fast. I bet, like, imagine he had chicken wing grease on his fingers. Yeah. He was typing so fast that his fingers would, like, fly off Shoot the keyboard. Shoot off. That was the typos in here. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a bad, dumb comment. So this is the final segment of the show. Uh, this is where we talk about how many wings we crushed. So, uh, Laura, how many wings you crush? I feel like I crushed a hundred, mm-hmm. realistically. I feel like I crushed maybe ten? That's a lot. How many did we order? That was twenty wings. So you... Oh, then I feel like I contributed to a third of twenty, which again my SAT scores were low, so I don't know. And I think this is a this is a wingman first. We completely finished. Finished. Plate. That's an empty plate. Sure, there's a little sauce there and I'd love to shot it down, but I'm not going to. And I think part of the reason why we have less is not that, you know, we were hung- we were a little hungrier today, I think. I think so. But we also ordered less wings. Yeah. Oh. So, we had we less were- wings. Did you order less because a woman was a guest on the oh, show? Oh, God. So, everybody, uh, on a, the topic of wing versus drum or wing at versus drum at, mm-hmm. um, I think we landed as a, as a panel completely on the side of wing at. I think that's going to be controversial. I'm interested yeah. to see what people have to say, because I think not everyone's going to agree with us. Yeah, but let us know in the comments. We're here to have an open discussion about wings. Always here to discuss things. Yeah. So until the next episode, uh, just remember, spread your wings. Keep winging it. Great job. Baby want wings. Hey, I'm Matt from Above Average. Click up here to watch more videos. Click right here to subscribe. And you can even tap up here for more content from Above Average. But you know what? Whether you click or tap, what I want to know is why you're still here. The video ended several seconds ago. This part's going to end soon.